So just a few more, um, just like two more lines about rhetoric. Um, this is on page two. But just the way, like, privileged, you know, how privileged those people are to be there. Um, and then also this idea of, like, it's Davos for the digital set. This kind of notion of exclusivity, right? Exclusivity is, 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 is by nature exclusive. It's not inclusive, right? And, of course, you know, that, that'll prompt some people to be like, well, you can't include everyone. Okay, that's fair. That's true. But I'm going to ask you, who doesn't get included? Are you okay with you not being included, right? Are you not okay with, um, you know, I don't know. Um, I mean, th that's what I'm asking, like, really. It's like, like, on what lines are we basing exclusion? That's something, it's a major sort of philosophical, political problem that me personally, like, I'm, I'm just not okay with, but, you know. So, rise of the stream punks. Stream punks! Your orientation to a new class of creators. Am, am I a stream punk? Because I got these rings. Um... Again, rhetorically, like pay attention to how he talks about the demographic on page three, right? Um, that first full paragraph. And the truth is, no matter where they're from, they look more alike than different. They look like people who are doing what they want to be doing for a living and don't have to answer to anyone but themselves, right? Again, these kind of ideological charges, right? So it's like why you would try and convince someone that producing content on YouTube as a living would be, you know, such a great lifestyle, right? What they're kind of trying to um, uh, appeal to, right? They wear the rarest sneakers, the sharpest, <laughs> I just can't even get through this, at leisure, the Brooklyn and Berlin-based labels that are just as relevant in fashion today as you'd find in Milan. Or they just wear the global creative uniform, jeans and a t-shirt. So many of tattoos are dyed hair that the ones who don't seem like the exceptions. I, yeah, I, I can't even really editorialize that. Um, funnily enough, though, right? So it's like, you know, it, it's like, you've heard me talk about precision and rigor, right? Um, and it goes back to the nuanced model of thinking, right? Like, you know, this is a marker. It's, it's not a pen and it's not a pencil. You know, it can't be whatever I want it to be just because it's convenient to me, right? Um, you know, um, it's one thing to kind of go through nuance and sort of describe all of the things that something is as opposed to conveniently, you know, calling something whatever you want, whenever you want, right? And, and similarly, like, although it's not true, it, it is true, like, it's not untrue that I think that these YouTubers are both, like, have a commonality, but also incredibly diverse. I just don't think that, that Kinkle is, 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 is talking in a nuanced way in the way that Van Dyck is, or, or what Raymond Williams, um, in terms of this of this audience, so much as like they're just they're just like this moving signifier where they, they you know he can slot them in whatever whenever he wants wherever he wants um, just to kind of like you know sell this lifestyle. So and and remember on 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 Tuesday when I'm talking about like these things aren't a clean break. Look at how much he 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 makes a clean break between YouTube and Hollywood with the Oscars, right? He throws the Oscars immediately under the bus, selling himself as something completely different. If that were true, then why does like why is YouTube in 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 bed with you know the major studios? Why is it that like you know so much of YouTube's revenue is is entirely tied to like you know traditional Hollywood? That it's just like you're talking out of both sides of your mouth. Amid so this is five first full paragraph. Amid controversies about diversity and Hollywood, such as Oscar So White, YouTube creators tend to provide a much more accurate reflection of the cultures they re represent. So he is also trying to appeal to the sort of more progressive sensibility about caring about diversity and, and, and inclusivity, right? Because, you know, because people from all around the world do, you know, um, use YouTube and that they provide a much more accurate and sort of hands-on, you know, ground-level representation of, of different cultures in a way that Hollywood doesn't, you know, like, and personally, I'm just not buying that for a second. Um, 
in t but in terms of, 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 of globality um, and the global reach of YouTube, I do think it's important to note that 80% or of traffic comes from outside of the US. That is, it's on a page five. Um, that is kind of crazy. And then um, one, one thing that he noted, and I think something worth thinking about, and, and does speak to the value of YouTube, is um, uh, in, in the archival sense. That it's a repository that is accessible for um, a lot of people. Um, and they can just like kind of retain information, right? They're, they're, we have access to stuff that we, that we didn't, right? Um, just to give you an example, it's like even back home I have dozens of VHS tapes that I've um, recorded of, of K-pop, you know, when, 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 I was, when I was growing up. Um, but now, like, all that stuff has been, has been transferred, you know, not my stuff, but, like, from actual studios and end users have been transferred to YouTube, and it's, like, it's there, it's accessible in a way that just wasn't, right? So it's great. Talk about Kinkle specifically. You know, like, who, who is this guy? What, like, you know, it's interesting, right? It's, like, you know, like, this isn't a content producer talking about his or her or their own experience with producing content it's and selling you know why one might you know like a memoir like why one want, might want to be a youtuber or scream punk he's a big he's an executive right and his look at his move from mutual film company a movie financier so he was entirely in the business of financing films which means you get money you don't get money right he, he's an executive he's not an, he's not an artist right he's not a content producer and HBO to Netflix um, to where he's now chief business officer. And yet, how does he talk about this? He doesn't talk about it in terms of numbers. He doesn't talk about it in terms of bottom lines, of revenue, of risks, of investment. He talks about it for passion, the passion for entertainment. If you're so passionate about entertainment, then why didn't you just produce entertainment, right? I don't know. Um, finally, uh, again, the kind of the twist or the reveal, what this is all about. You know, he was there all along, advertising. Because he's a business executive, right? Um, on page ten, last uh, that partial paragraph. You know. At the end of all of this, everything, you know, he says all of this, but what, what matters most? What is the most exciting uh, development? It's not about having some new channel, or it's not about, you know, a, a major shift in, in audience demographics. It's not about a new type of content. It's about advertising. As luck would have it, I have some good news to share. As Interpublic, one of the largest advertising agencies in the world, has just announced that it will shift $250 million from its budget for TV commercials over to YouTube. This is what all of this is actually about. The media shifts are not about you and I not watching TV and moving to, moving to, 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 to streaming. It's that revenue streams are changing, that advertisers are also changing the way that they produce revenue because eyeballs are over here as opposed to over there. And that's what matters to him. It's not about people with the freshest sneakers or diverse content and people all around the world. It's about increased revenue streams and more advertising. That's what all of this is about. I can't stress that enough. I can't say it more plainly enough. But there it is. <laughs>